And one of the beautiful ways of cultivating these good qualities in your personalities is to keep fast running. One way of cultivating these qualities is to keep fast running. Because on one hand, in Ramadan, in the whole month of Ramadan, you trim off the unwanted desires and qualities and habits. You are able to restrain yourself from harming others with your tongue or with other ways that may not be very good for a healthy living amongst human beings. So on one hand, you are cultivating in yourself good qualities. And on the other hand, you are able to help others. Because Prophet Muhammad is your only was so charitable and generous for him. But in Ramadan he was extra charitable, extra generous, unbelievable. My dear friends, as you will hear in our programs over the radio that we will be broadcasting during the month of Ramadan, they want to hear them from four to five in the morning. What, one of the things I am telling people here and take note of it. Suddenly, for any time, you will die and leave every material thing behind. You are not going to take The most you might be blessed with is two pieces of from stitch rock. Take note. You will be leaving everything behind. Some people, when they will see the angel of death here, yeah, you will be able to see the angel of death. That is sure. When they will see the angel of death, they will say, oh Lord, please. Stay my life for a little while. I don't want to give a lot of charity and I want to do this and I want to do it. Are you not more than death can come suddenly over you? I am not a poor you will Anywhere you are, death will overtake you. That is certain and sure. Don't concentrate only on what you are going to leave behind. Think also what you are sending ahead that you will get here to benefit you. The wise person will strike ahead to balance. They will leave something behind for their inheritance. And they will set something ahead for their well-being and welfare in the next phase of the journey. Brothers and sisters, every day, Allah is giving us lessons. Lessons. By looking, by showing us the conditions of people, the same thing can happen to you. Do the good now. Abu Zahra Gafari, he reports that the Prophet is the one who is reported to have said, one dirham, in other words, one dollar, if you can give while you are healthy and you can use it for yourself and so on, if you can give that to charity, is most precious in the sight of the Lord than one thousand dirham that you will want to be when you are about to die. Be careful, my dear. Be careful. Because the point in time may very well overtake a lot of us when we will have a lot of the worldly affairs, but we will not be able to benefit from it. Some people have everything they can think about, but they can't eat a proper meal of food. They have to be careful with what they say. They have to be careful with While you have your health and your facilities, make the best use of Try your best, my dear friends, to develop yourself like a beautiful tree that gives shade and fruit. In other words, you will be of benefit to your families, to your friends, and to society. And you will have achieved a lot in this life and the mercies and favors of the Lord in the next. Too often we find people talk 
But when it comes to action, we find they have a reservation. Too often we find people looking at others, but they are not looking at their own selves. That is not the way of a true believer. Because Allah tells us in His holy words, I've seen come on us and our love here. Be nice, loving, kind, charitable. Refine to others as Allah has been to you. Try and respect it. That is the, 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 the scale for assessing how good a person you are in this world and what you hope to expect in the next. Brothers and sisters, I keep reminding myself and telling my friends and, and students and so on one very important thing. It is only one life you are living. It is only one physical life you are best living. This will not return to you. Make the best use of the mind. Manage your assets such that you will get benefit in this world and you will get benefit in this. Don't wait for when the time comes when the life is coming out and the angels are there and when you look back how much things you are leaving behind and when you look ahead at the very little that you have sent before you then it will be a moment of regrets. Don't wait for that. Be on the other hand, like those who, when they have to leave, the angels will come to them. Inna ladina kors mas takom mutatanazalu alayhi mutmalaika. Those people who are believers understand fully the faith. At the moment when they have to leave, the angels will come to them. Like beautiful friends, like dear friends. And they will say, my dear friends, why are you grieving? And why are you having fear? Look at what the Lord has promised to you. And they will show them something of the beautiful preparations that the merciful Lord has prepared for them. The God and all these things. Because at the point in time when you are to die, you are going to see reality. They are going to see your past and they are going to see your future. And they will be greeted and they will be ushered along. Brothers and sisters, which do you want to have? That or there will be some when they have to die it becomes a painful thing. And that tells us about this in the Quran. He says, one does they have a girl, one does they have a national for some they have a son. And it goes with the categories of experiences that people will have at the time of their death. So some who are nice, Allah will send the angels in a nice way to Those who are bad and wicked, the angels will come like Bajan. And when these people will be scared, the angels will snatch their souls out and take it out in a rough way. Brothers and sisters, that experience will be dependent on the kind of life you live there. Tell me something. If you are accustomed to give shame and share, share fruits, you think your Lord will let you down? You think he will be unkind and uncharitable to you? Take care, my dear friends. And the Ramadan is coming. Access the blessings that Allah has reserved for those who give to us. He promises that He will make you special persons. He is special guests. So in this beautiful world, don't look at the ways and, 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 and uh, habits of others. Take care of yourself. Each one of you. Grow your tree to be one that is given nice shade and beautiful food, and you will have be successful in this month. My dear friends, we do not know whether we will live for another hour. And we know one thing. Prophet is here for me is what you have said. If you keep the fast sincerely for the sake of the Lord, He will forgive you all the sins. 
And I have another tradition. If you worship very sincerely in the Mount of Ramana, in the night, and I will forgive you your sins. But when you look back in the past, how much sin do you have? Oh my God. But you can't count when you look at some of the bad things you repent with your mind. Why do you don't do it? Why do you do it? Why do The system is in place to take care of you. Don't waste it. Don't waste your life like that. Leave this world as a beautiful thing. And people will be happy to talk about you. The benefits they had from you and the blessings that you were able to pass on to all those with whom you came into contact. And Allah will be pleased with you. And they meeting and breathing with them on that day will be a beautiful one. And you will be blessed with eternal peace and tranquility. May Allah forgive us for a short time. May Allah strengthen our will and our resolve that we will observe the fast of Ramadan. The way it has to be also, with the hope that we will be blessed in whatever the uh, nature of our life we have in this world, and we will get better in the end. God of Allah, 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 Allah,